it! I'm an honest... What has happened? Your brother! What's he done this time? <laughs> the newspapers are all over Tupany's murder, and if that weren't enough, someone has stolen the currency printing plates. Was that also Jacob's doing? I doubt it. No, no one trusts the bank or England's currency. There, there will be inflation, riots, manufacturing will jump to America for the cheap labor. In short, Britain is done for. Jacob, you've really put your foot in it now. What if I smuggle the plates back into the bank? Well, it would certainly help. Better yet, it would call into question the stories on Tupany's murder, which would restore confidence in the economy. That's settled then. Britain lives to see another day. Oh, and if it's not too much trouble, would you mind destroying any counterfeit notes you come across so they don't circulate? Of course. It really is very good of you to help. Follow me. The counterfeit money is being spent nearby. Well, if you can call it counterfeit, with those printing plates, it's nearly impossible to tell the real notes from the fake ones. Mr. Avalon. If this gets out... Well, I've said this already. When people don't trust their currency, and we're already seeing... Mr. Aberline. <coughs> you do not follow me. I don't wish to be robbed on my way to the cart. The counterfeiters. <laughs> Heard about the rioting at the <coughs> bank? They can riot all they like. We won't be giving back those plates. What difference does it make? It's not like he has any real cash on him. Since we've got the printing plates, it's all real cash. Did you hear those crowds? Sounds like all of London is rioting. Nothing to do with us. I can't believe Jacob's managed to shatter the entire economy. Father was right. He acts in haste and repents not at all. There's a murderer here. Where to now, sir? Back home, if you please. Have you seen the papers today? You read about Tupini's murder? Yes. A terrible shame. But it worked out all right for us, didn't it? You're not worried that the police will be asking after you? Someone might have seen you going into the bank. My good man, you're not worried, are you? Let your conscience be at ease. I am not responsible for Tupini's death. I merely took advantage of a fortuitous situation. If Scotland Yard comes nosing around, I was at that bank on business, and you know nothing else about it. I'll see you're given double your salary for your trouble. Paid in your counterfeit. Paid in your counterfeit bills, no doubt. I didn't quite catch that. Nothing at all, sir. Absolutely, sir. We have work to do. All right then. Fire your weapon! 
Now to sneak these back into the bank. There, as if they were never taken. London papers are running the story of how it was all a hoax. No more riots. Faith in the bank restored. Finally, I might get a quiet night on patrol. Miss Fry, the 
I can't thank you enough. Glad we've averted catastrophe, Sergeant. Although it's Jacob who should be thanking me. Tell me again where we are going. I found a letter from the Prince Consort among Lusiton's research, marked with the same insignia as your key, dated 1847. 1847. The same year the Prince began renovations to Buckingham Palace. You think he added a vault for the Shroud? And since there is no map of the palace with the room marked Secret Vault. Your Highness, may I present Miss Evie Fry. Miss Fry, Maharaja Dulip Singh. A pleasure, Your Highness. My friend, the plans you asked for have been removed. Removed? By whom? Crawford Starrick, or someone employed by him. Yes, I thought you might recognize the name. I know where they are, but it is heavily guarded. That part will not be a problem. I thought not. We're going to need a plan. I can provide a distraction for the guards while you find a safe way inside. Oh, really? <laughs> for you, Evie? Certainly. Well, once I'm inside, I'll find someone who knows where the papers are stored. And we will be back on the train. Be careful. the plan when you give the signal I'll draw the guards into a fight and then use a smoke bomb to get away and I'll take advantage of the confusion ready absolutely
Protocol is here! No. Nothing here. Looks like I have to ask someone where the plans are. I swear, miss, I don't know where they've taken him. Taken who? The man, dressed like you. The guards straight him off. Henry, the plans you stole, where are they? I don't know anything about that the plans the mission <gasps> You're some of Clara's children. They took Mr. Henry. We couldn't stop them. I bit one of them good, though. They dragged him off in a red carriage. They won't get far, though. On, one wheel looked like it was about ready to fall off. You can see the cart tracks. It looks all wobbly-like. Been run off the road. They must be driving quickly. There you are. They're knocking people over, too. Here now, and destruction of public property. I must be on the right track. about you, Rook. Just that what you are.
They pull someone out of that carriage. his brain he's an assassin how much more adult can he get oh. Oh, all right Mr. Fry. why did you help? bring him here the man's an assassin we didn't want him getting away before you had a chance to question him now did we he was more secure where he was before I told you not. Evie, that is a dull nail. They sent you someone to move the architectural plans. Do you have them? Did they hurt you? I'm fine. Let's go. Search your bloody <gasps> What about the plans? The plans are lost! <laughs> Evie, I'm sorry! Just concentrate on escaping, please. to look at that. I must find the vault before Starek secures the shroud. We'll talk to the Maharaja again. I will talk to the Maharaja. You will get your head looked at. I'm sorry my capture hasn't done your plans. You'd be safer on the train. Even if you find the vault, you can't just walk into Buckingham Palace alone. I won't be alone. I'll see you back at the train, Mr. Green. Thank <laughs> you. 